Oh my god, I'm gonna get a flag for hate speech now. So, who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? to a new episode of Friday Night Mail. I would like to start off this video by giving you your weekly dose of affirmations that you guys are fucking awesome. I really appreciate all of the support, all of the questions, all of you guys entering my giveaway, following my social media, especially Instagram and Twitch and my other YouTube channel, which I haven't been keeping up with since I moved, but I will get back onto that games train. It is hard when you're trying to settle in to have two channels and a Twitch channel. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I appreciate every single thing that you do with regards to me and my content, supporting me, asking questions, just everything. You don't have to agree with me in order to get my appreciation. Thank you. Moving on, as promised, we have last week's giveaway winner, which is Sasha P. Congratulations, Sasha P. Uh. That burp was for you. And this week's giveaway winner goes by the pseudonym Dragon's Knight, like K-N-I-G-H-T. Congratulations, Dragon's Knight. If you haven't already, check your email. If you guys wanna sign up for this week's giveaway, link as always is in the top of the description right there. It'll say like F&M giveaway. Woo, it is for a $25 Amazon gift card. I have, I've been spending a lot of money, so we're still gonna go with the $25 Amazon gift card. Things might get juicier as time goes on and my financial situation becomes more stable. All right guys, we have three questions this week from the audience, which I fucking love, by the way. More accurately, two questions and one scenario. By the way, if you hear any weird background noises, Eve is going crazy right now. I actually had to take her to the 24 hour emergency care last night. I'm gonna do a Vlad vlog on it, but it seems like she's okay now. Very, very scary shit, holy fuck. And as long as it's not currently affecting her health in a visible way and she's in any danger, which she's not, we're gonna power through and have fun with FNM. Sorry to, sorry to worsen the mood. I'll let you guys know soon what's going on. Zammer Bammer says, question. What do you think about nipples? Parentheses, male and female. I like male nipples, even though they have no actual biological use and are formed in the womb before the fetus's gonads become male or female. That's a really rough description. Look it up if you want the actual scientific description. And I think they're really cute when they're on men. On women, I like average size nipples that are proportionate with the boob. So something that might fit my boobs that are Fs might not or actually won't fit or look good in my opinion, as per my aesthetic. On a girl who has A or B cups, I like a specific proportion. Nipples are cool, sucking on them is fun. Next. Honor plus one says, scenario. You have a crush on a girlfriend's boyfriend. He comes on to you. What do you do? Okay, so I have a video coming out, I think Sunday, if not sometime next week, and it's a new sex story about how I was hitting on a married man. I believe that philosophically in the situation where I don't know the wife and I'm interested in the man, that it's free game for me to go after him. And if he chooses to break the bonds of marriage and go against the sanctity of his contractual relationship with his wife, that's his problem. I didn't make any contracts with these people. I happen to be single. Now, if I'm friends with the wife, I'm not gonna touch him, even if I'm like totally into him. I might push a little bit for some kind of threesome or something, but since I did enter into a friendship contract with the girl and I care about my friends and I don't wanna hurt her feelings cause I know her and care about her, I wouldn't fuck with her boyfriend without permission. It's funny cause I actually know quite a few women who are married or have a boyfriend who would totally have a threesome with me. You guys are awesome. If a man is willing to cheat on his wife, He's made that decision on his own and I feel like it's kind of important for the wife to know that he would do that. A lot of people are morally opposed to this, but that's just how I see it. Squidsley, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. I love you, Squidsley. You have the best questions. Question. This is kind of sad, but my friend recently got raped and I know where the rapist lives. So me and my friends devised a plan to scare the fuck out of him or may even beat him. What are your opinions on that? I would say let the courts handle it. Let the cops and the law handle it. We do not live in a rape culture. Rapists are punished with the exception of Times that there's no actual hard evidence. If there's no hard evidence, then I know you believe your friend. I would believe my friends. I would be pissed too. I would be protective of my friend. I understand that emotion, but you need to think logically and rationally here. There is a small chance that she's lying or that she's just embarrassed about the sex that she has. And there's a huge chance you get in trouble and ruin your own life if you take the matters into your own hands. Encourage her to file a report, encourage her to go get a rape kit, encourage her to bring any evidence that she has forward so that the person can be tried and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. I know you wanna be a vigilante, especially for someone you care about, but it's only gonna cause more problems. You are not judge, jury, and executioner, and it's not guilty before or proven innocent, even though it might be in your mind when it happens to involve your friend that you care about. 
I get that. I get the protectiveness. Don't do it though. Trust me. All right, that's it. If you guys have any questions, please post them in the comments. I love answering you guys' questions. It's one of my favorite parts of this. My other favorite part is opening boxes and packages from you guys. I got a letter from Zoe, a letter from Melanie, and a package from my mom, along with like four really huge boxes. I think what we should first do is open the package from my mom, and then we can do these. Box cutter from Demi. Thanks mom for sending me this. I know she's sending me something I left in dad's car when we moved, but she also says there's like a bunch of stuff in there. So I'm excited. Okay, first thing. Aw, I loved this ducky. I had this ducky in all different sizes. I think this is from the Puyallup Fair. If you guys have ever lived in the Seattle area, the Puyallup Fair is like the state fair kinda. Wade, his name was Wade. Where are my big Wades? This is so cute, I really appreciate it. I'm slowly gonna get all, all of my plushies from their house, I swear. Vlad's carrying case. This is the thing that I left in dad's car. Get in there, Vlad. Ugh. So I talked recently about how I left a lot of my N64 games at my parents' house. My mom found some for me. Thank you, mom. This is Pokemon Stadium. Loved this game. And this is Yoshi's Story. Yoshi's Story. If you guys played either of these games, post in the comments. <gasps> Such good games. What is this? Oh, shit. I've got some art from my parents' friend, Mike. It says space and time are very close, friends. And this was made in, was it 77? Space permeates time, the way we permeate our dreams and reality without bruising a moment. Okay, so this has special significance to me because this was my favorite friend of my parents's and he recently passed away after complications with diabetes. I was gonna make a video on death recently because so many influential people, Chris Cornell, Chester Bennington, and then my parents' friend Mike died. And it's sad and I wanted something to remember him by so I really appreciate you sending this to me, mom. Seriously, it's amazing. Just to share a few moments about Mike's life with you guys. He and I always used to make fun of each other. I like making fun of people and I like people who can take jokes. He was a very weird and odd guy who collected like old movies. He loved like horror figurines and stuff from like the oldest like Black Lagoon, Night of the Living Dead. And he made this really, really amazing artwork. He was an artist and also worked with my mom. He would come over to our house and we would have pizza, but I mostly liked going over to his house, even though outside of his house is like overgrown with trees and stuff. And there was those little jumping spiders that we didn't have over where I lived. And they would like, oh, they were everywhere. We would play the Wii at his house. We would hang out. It was really cool. And I just remember him being so talented, so funny, and he actually got my sense of humor. So RIP, Mike, you will be missed. I appreciate your weird demeanor and very artistic way of looking at life. Also, all the Halloween decorations you quickly penned up for my parents over the years. They go hard on Halloween. It looks like we have something else in the box. All right, so we've got Super Mario 64. This is where, in my opinion, the Mario franchise went downhill. I like Super Mario 64, but I strongly prefer 2D Mario games, like strongly. Also, we have Donkey Kong 64. Honestly, I actually like Donkey Kong 64, even though the intro is like really cringy. Thank you, mom. This was a great package. Oh, there's one more thing. We've got cotton swabs for my face. I actually use these every day. I actually use micellar water on my face every night to take off the makeup and to just kind of hydrate my face. It's really dry here in Vegas. Oh my God. Mwah! Thank you, mom. All right, we're gonna get into the little thing. So the first one we have is from Melanie. Aw, Tara. It says Tara. Once upon a time, a girl named Melanie was routinely browsing through social media influencers who she deemed the lucky. They always stared back from the screen with beauty she admired and she'd sigh, silently accepting that would never be her reality. Unexpectedly, she stumbled across an unapologetic beauty. She was golden, shiny, and curvy in all the right places. The golden muse uttered a... Fuck, I dropped something. The Golden Muse uttered a phrase that changed her life. But let's paraphrase, since Melanie's memory is not to be trusted. <laughs> Aesthetic is something I work for, and I like the fact that I can always improve myself based on my standards of beauty. A light bulb went off in Melanie's head, and realizing Muse was both entertaining and beautiful, she binged and binged on Muse's content. Slowly, the girl created goals and changed herself little by little to become the best version of herself. Tara, I'm talking in third person and it's cringy, but I wanted to repeat for the hundredth time how grateful I I am to you for being you. Do not ever change. I adore you, Melanie. Melanie! Every f and M. I just further want to express how much I want to bend you over and spank you and cuddle you at the same time for being so exquisitely beautiful and also eternally fucking sweet. Sweet in the cringiest and best way. Mwah! Thank you. Also, you're hot. This is from Zoe, one of my favorite people. And as you can see right here, we've got the Pikachu stickers, which I'm actually quite shocked that she spared. She's like on a Pikachu frenzy right now. I need to find my Pokemon cards and send her my Pikachus. Oh my 
my god, it's the Mew card! She told me about this. I hope you enjoy this Mew card and thank you for the gift. I love you and Eve. Love, Zoe. Thank you, Zoe! Oh! Mew is only 8.8 .8 pounds. Thank you, I'll add this to my collection and I'll send you some of mine once I find them. Okay, the next thing we have is this. This is from Selena. Oh, Selena sent me something. What did she send me? Oh my god, if you guys don't know, Selena is the person who makes all of my little cute gaming related choker bead art things. Oh, so good. And again, I want to show you her packaging. If you guys want to check out Selena's work, I highly recommend it. Oh my god, so durable, so beautiful, so nerdy. And she's fucking gorgeous, by the way. Her Instagram and her Etsy store will be down in the description. And she really goes above and beyond with the packaging. It's adorable. It's a gift from Demi. Demi? So sweet. Oh my god. It's a Mew choker. This goes so well with my Mew Pokemon card. I feel like you guys are in cahoots. Oh, I gotta get this on like immediately. Oh, and I did not know about this, I swear. But oh my god, it even matches my outfit right now. Look at this and this and this and this. Demi, Zoe, Selena. Oh my god. Mwah. Thank you, Demi. You're so sweet. She gets me box cutters. She gets me sexy jewelry. What more can you want in a woman other than a voluptuous booty? Okay. This is like the last small one. Oh, it's from Donald. Hi, Tara. I thought you and Jay could use this. Now that you have a house, you have plenty of room for these things you always talk so fondly about. The impatient woman's guide to getting pregnant. What to do when you want to be pregnant yesterday and you don't have any time to waste. Sex every other day during the fertile period will work almost as well in terms of getting pregnant, but if you'd rather indulge every night, go for it. 100% agree with this book. Where in this book does it talk about the feminist ideology that you can go ahead and trick a man into getting pregnant? Getting you pregnant? While asking for child support. I will use this as the anti-gospel and not do all of these things in order to not get pregnant fast. Black attack, attack, attack. I'm black, I'm black, I'm black, I'm black. It's a poster. Live the life you've always dreamt of. Be fearless in the face of adversity. Never stop learning. Use your imagination whenever possible. Recognize the beauty that surrounds you. It says be you also. Remember where you came from, but never lose sight of where you're going. I love it. You guys are like decorating my house. It's great. Kind of smells like eggs or like someone farted. Maybe part of being you is farting into my box. I love box farts. <laughs> Oh yeah. Sean, thank you so much. I love you. Oh shit. We've got Cadet Design, Plain Scratch. I bet this is from Rubber Tongue. Because Rubber Tongue said he was gonna spoil Eve. Lovely LMT, may Queen Eve love to drink the water from this water fountain. Oh, wonderful LMT, I really hope Queen Eve likes these balls as much as you like balls. Rubber tongue, don't presume to know anything about what I like. Dear LMT, I'm sure Queen Eve would like to scratch a bit and play. So that's this one, scratching a bit and playing. We've got this one. I think it's the Cadet uh, water fountain. Oh, it is, I was telling Jay we should buy this one, but we didn't. Got the little flower on top. She's been so thirsty lately, especially with the issue that she had yesterday. I can't wait to tell you guys, it's been really stressful. Like I didn't get any sleep last night, so I took a nap before I did this. I was in terrible spirits until I woke up this morning and she was doing better and I'm just like, <sighs> if something happened to that cat, like $500, or thousands of dollars in some kind of surgery if she needed it would be easy to do. And this is the Cadet Fireball. And there's a picture of a little fuzzy kitten. Also, what I love about these boxes is that you get to like cut holes in them and then Eve will stick her cute little head out. It's so fucking cute. I love Cadet boxes. I highly recommend Cadet toys for cats. What I affectionately call cat tit. All right, we have two more boxes. Okay, now that we're further into the video, I want to know if anyone noticed that I have more hair. I got tape and hair extensions for the first time. I used to be against hair extensions for me personally because I just thought it was kind of weird and it was really bad for your hair and I would never want to damage my hair. Also, I don't like the way it looks when girls have really short hair and then they get it to elongate their hair. But for me, I just wanted thicker braids. Now that I'm crazy about braids, I wanted thick ass braids. And now I have thick ass braids. So one up for self-improvement and changing your mind. Angel soft, white bath tissue. Ugh. Okay, 100% this is from Donald, but there is no note in here. Donald, how did you know I was running out of toilet paper? After I posted that Instagram video, which I'm gonna find and post here right now. Which I'm sure is the creative idea behind this. I used up all of our toilet paper in a bout of explosive diarrhea. I'm just kidding, but you shopping for me for essentials makes me happy. 48 rolls of bath tissue. The last one, guys. Oh, shit. 
Amazing LMT, hopefully Queen Eve will have the most pleasant dreams and sleep well in this mouse bed. It's like... A bed that looks like a mouse and the eyes of the mouse are like two little things that the cat can play with. I feel like if the cat understood that this was supposed to look like a mouse, the cat would be really freaked out. The cat would be like, why the fuck am I sleeping inside of a mouse? This is my prey. I like it. I like it. I think Eve's gonna like it. Guys, we've got to open the angel soft just for good measure. Oh, it also has a scratching post on the top. Four of these things full of toilet paper. And I think... For good measure, we can use one roll to TP myself. Why not, right? Why not? Oh man, Jay's gonna be so pissed. Thank you so much guys for supporting the channel and for being so grateful. Grateful, gracious. Aw, oh, it broke off, what the fuck? All of the kind words, all of the critical words that make me think, oh God, my nose is just so much. All of the stuff that makes me not have to wear this wonderful toilet paper hijab. Oh my god, I'm gonna get a flag for hate speech now. Cause I'm wearing toilet paper hijab. Here we go, people are gonna be like, that's insensitive, you cannot do anything cause you're a hoe. But my tits need to still be out. This is, this is the, the beauty of the hijab. You can't see my face, which is like totally sexy or something. I can see the dust from the toilet paper just flying around. This cannot be good. Cannot be good for my lungs. But it's very soft, I'll admit. Thank you, Donald. Thank you everyone who contributed to this video. I really appreciate it. You guys are the fucking best. Oh, I love you so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Fan Service Friday is up right now on my Patreon. Well, it's an in-between week. I will have a video tomorrow, because I'm gonna go make it right now, talking about what happened with Eve yesterday, so if you guys are interested. I also have the sex story about the Marion Magic Nerd coming out, and a fucking favorites video, a sex ed about flirting, and what else? Oh yeah, I'm gonna make a video about controversial people I would sleep with. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed, sign up for the giveaway, and post questions that start off with question, like Dwight Trout, and I might answer your question in the next week's FNM. And if you want to send me anything, letters, anything at all, within reason, my PO box is down in the description. Love you, and I'll see you next week. Mwah! Oh yeah, now we can get to some video of Eve playing with her new toys. Because why not? Aww. What? She's so cute.